So now what we want to do is set up our score for our arrangement. So let's open up Finale to do that. And what we want is we want to use the setup wizard and we're going to go for underneath where it says general, we're going to go for handwritten style jazz font. We want the full score to be landscape, but what we want is for the part scores to remain portrait. So they'll both be printed on eight and a half by 11. Um, it is very common that full score arrangements for commercial music and for jazz our landscape orientation. So let's hit next. Now we're gonna add the instrumentation that I personally am going to use. So that's going to be um, one voice, and we're just gonna go with the general voice. And then I'm gonna add my rhythm section, which is really the core of a lot of commercial music ensembles. So I'm gonna add acoustic guitar, bass guitar. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the keyboards, I need a piano. And instead of a drum set, I'm actually just gonna use a general percussionist because I want hand percussion. The other thing here is I wanna add a string quartet. So that's gonna be violin one, violin two. So I'm gonna add two violins, viola, and cello. Now you'll notice the order of the score here. This is a really weird order. This is orchestral order. Let's actually change this um, to jazz band. And that should actually put it in the right order for us in this particular case. So voice, acoustic guitar, piano, bass guitar, percussion, and then our string section. So now I'm going to hit next. I'm going to put the name of the piece. Uh, it's actually going to be the Wayfaring Stranger. Um, that's the folk melody that I'm going to put over the loop I did in the last video. My full name. Oh, uh, excuse me. Actually, composer should say traditional song because I didn't compose the song, right? And then arranger, A-R-R, -R, my full name, and then copyright before the letter C, and then after the letter C, the year 2020 by Justin Leo Kennedy, period, all rights reserved. Cool, then I'm gonna hit next. And it is in 4-4, and conveniently the tempo is 120. I'm actually not going to put a key signature. I could put the key of E minor, but it's only one sharp. And in this case, I think actually it'll be easier to not have a key signature. So I'm just going to hit finish. And now it's setting it up. And the first thing I want to look for as it's got all of this set up is I want to look for things that Finale has done that maybe I'm not happy with. So I'm actually going to kind of go hunting a little bit and I'll use the selection tool. I found one thing already. So I don't like this thing that says subtitle, right? There is no subtitle for my arrangement. So we're going to get rid of that using the selection tool. And then where it says the wayfaring stranger on page two, I don't really need that. It says it on the first page. I don't really need it on subsequent pages here where it says score. I would like it to say full score. So I'm going to open up the window and I'm going to go to the score manager and I'll go to file info. And then down here at the bottom, it says score name. So I'm gonna put full score there. And you might think that that doesn't make sense, but if I were to have just double clicked on this and written the word full in front of the word score, it would add the word full to every single page. So if I had an acoustic guitar part, it would say full acoustic guitar, and we don't want that. Okay, so the score looks decent now, except for one last thing, and that's here on pages following page one, there's nothing to denote that this is the voice. And we do want that. So we'll go back to the score manager. Again, that hotkey is command K if you're into hotkeys, but I'm just clicking it here so that you can see how to do it. And so where it says abbreviated name, so right now I'm selected on the voice, right? And if I go down here, I can click abbreviated name. That, that basically means every page after page one. So abbreviated name, I'm gonna type voice and hit okay, and then close out. And now this looks decent. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this particular video to a close. And in the next video, what we're gonna do is set up our measure numbers.